right guys, so change of scenery today. We are at a school. My sister changed schools this year. She's a teacher, if you guys didn't know. I know I've like mentioned that before, um, but we're at a completely new school. So this is the classroom before. It was like used as like a storage room. So there's like tons of like shelving and extra tables and stuff. Um, so we have to go through a lot and organize a lot of stuff that was already in here. And then like all the random stuff that you see is stuff that she's brought in from her old classroom. So I'm just going to set up the camera and you guys are going to see the transformation of this classroom and you get to see the whole process that teachers have to go through before school starts. And we got the minion here today helping as well. So um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right guys, so this is what we've done so far. We didn't really get to do a ton of decorating. It was more like planning and kind of figuring out where things are gonna go. As you can see, we still have so much work to do. We'll definitely have to come back another day, but I think now that we kind of have a plan, we know where we need to put things, what we need to get, and what to do when we come tomorrow. Okay, thank you, bulletin board. So she's obviously doing like a jungle theme, like with animals and stuff. Okay, so we're gonna come back tomorrow and finish setting up, so I will see you guys then. So now I am at home, and before we go back and decorate tomorrow, I want to go ahead and make some tropical looking tissue flowers and cut out some monstera leaves. So right now I just have a few sheets of tissue paper and I folded them into a fan type of pattern or accordion, just going back and forth and then I'm trimming the edges down to make my petals. And then I'm going to squinch up that tissue paper in the middle and tie a yellow pipe cleaner around it to make the center of my flowers. And then I'm going to fan out my tissue paper and then separate those layers one by one by pulling them towards the center of the flower, towards that pipe cleaner there. So I'm just pulling all of those petals away and then I'm not really worried about how they look right now because we will fluff it up towards the end. And then I'm just gonna use this little elastic on the bottom there to kind of make the petals upward and make it look all cute and nice. So now I'm going to do some different types of flowers. So here I have several sheets of tissue paper and I'm going to stack them up, fold them in half, and then I'm going to cut a half of a petal so that when I unfold this tissue paper, as you can see here, it looks like some big petals. And I'm gonna be doing the same thing and just cutting them slightly smaller than those larger petals so that we can layer them. So now I am putting two pieces together and then just twisting the centers like so and you guys will see why in just a second hurts, 
Now I'm going to put all of those little twisted centers together and I'm kind of pinching them on my fingers and then I'm sticking the pipe cleaner in there, twisting them together and then tying an elastic around those and that way I can staple it up to the bulletin board later. Alright guys, so now that I've made some tissue paper flowers over there, now I want to make some like monstera leaves. So I had this green poster board. Um, I believe I got this from Dollar Tree and I'm cutting it into sections and putting it on my Cricut mat and I'm going to cut out some large monstera leaves so that we can put these on her bulletin board. So I already have them on my Cricut mat ready to go and be cut. And like I said, I cut that poster board into sections so that I can cut it out on my two foot mat. And for this, let's see if poster board is even in here. If it's not, I'm just gonna do cardstock. Because it's pretty thick, I mean, but it's not much thicker than cardstock, you know what I mean? I'm just going to hit this medium cardstock, and we're going to try this. All right, and here we have our monstera leaves. So super cute. I think uh, for some of the negative space, I should have shrink them down to just get some smaller ones. So I will definitely be doing that on the next one. So I have a couple more sheets of poster board. So we're gonna go ahead and use all of that up so we can get some more monstera leaves. All right guys, so it is day two and we are back at the classroom. So today is our last day that we have to work on everything. So hopefully we can get everything done today. We got some more stuff. Uh, we ran to Target this morning and snagged a few things. And I also brought the tissue paper flowers and the monstera leaves that we cut out yesterday. So we have to hang all of those up. So, um, Kelly, you ready to have your classroom decorated and done? Yes. Okay, how? <laughs> we're we're gonna do our best. Okay. So I'm gonna set you guys up so we can do some more hyperlapse clips and get some stuff done.
right guys so i think we are pretty much done for the day we didn't quite get everything done but to be honest she needs to go and get some more stuff because this classroom is way bigger than her last one so she didn't have really enough stuff to fill the space so but for now this is the end result um, this table is going to go in the back of the room just for like extra support and extra workspace she's gonna have like a bigger better desk once school starts but there's the tissue flowers that we cut out and all those monstera leaves got her printer and her fridge shelf cute little fake plant we hung a light above her desk and this whole thing lights up above here it looks pretty cool Alright guys, well there it is. So like I said, she will be adding some more stuff. Um, this is it as of right now though because school's about to start for them in a couple weeks. But as always, if you like this video, please let me know that you liked it by giving me a big thumbs up. If you have any other questions or comments, feel free to drop a comment down below. And if you're watching this video and you're not already subscribed to my channel, then I highly recommend clicking that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss out on any other crafting tutorials or other small business related content.